I'm the CEO and founder of OceanGate. Let's take a look at Titan. So we're coming into the sub. This is the only toilet available on a deep Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So you guys, I bring you this interesting video that I found on TikTok guys. I'm sure most of you have seen this, you've heard about this because it is trending on all social media platforms, including the news platforms <laughs> like BBC, CNN, Sky News, you know the submarine situation going on. Yeah guys, so when uh, this uh, reached TikTok guys, people reacted differently to this news guys. And I've gathered some of the videos from TikTok for you guys because I want to know what what you guys think about the situation in the comment section below so guys like we have two, two sides of this uh, video black people reacted to this video differently and white people reacted to this uh, situation news about the submarine going on differently so guys this one is about the black people reacting to this and I'm gonna do a different video about white people reacting to this video you will have to watch uh, this video up to the end to fight to to watch the complete tour of this uh, submarine guys okay so we'll get into the the video that started all this concerning you know black people reacting to all this uh, submarine situation going on on tiktok so let me just roll a little bit of the clip this entire submarine situation is like a direct indictment against the idea that rich people are inherently smarter than poor people because what do you mean you have to sit crisscross applesauce in the vessel what do you mean they have to bolt you from the outside like what do you mean that the whole thing is piloted by a knockoff brand PlayStation controller. And especially what do you mean you all paid $250,000 a person to do it? And like, of course, there's a level of sympathy that I feel because I would hate to perish that way. Like the level of dread that wells up in me at the thought of, of going out like that, horrific. But a larger part of me is just like, I would never do that. You couldn't pay me to do that and they paid to do it like it doesn't make any sense so let's just get straight into the stitches let's hear what people had to say black people had to say about this people you know what i've been thinking about it i've been thinking about it real real hard because it's not just this little submarine debacle right billionaires have been taking l after l after l in terms of trying to connect their wealth to intelligence because it's not working at all you have elon taking over twitter trying to show everybody how smart he is but he bought the company for tens of billions of dollars more than what it was worth and immediately, almost immediately, sank it into the ground by losing nearly like 60% of advertising dollars. Then you have all these corporations and billionaires trying to push people back into the workplace after COVID-19 because all their money is tied up in corporate real estate and they can't think of anything different to do with those bases at all. Luckily, there's a lot of workers seeing right through it and calling their bluff. Then you have the submarine thing where the billionaire fired his head of safety after the head of safety said, hey, the submarine is not safe enough to go down that far. Now look at them. And I haven't even touched upon the megachurch millionaires and billionaires. If anything, I feel like the 2020s are going to be a real reckoning for the public perception of millionaires and billionaires. Indictment against the idea that rich people are inherently smarter than poor people. Okay, I think this is an interesting talking point because I don't think that these people's decision to get into the submarine to go see the Titanic proves that they're stupid. I think that it proves that they think that they're invincible. Um, I even saw someone who's covering it and was talking about how like one of the guys on board is like like a known adrenaline junkie. Like he does these kinds of things all the time. And it reminded me of something else. And I'm gonna go on a little tangent, but I'm gonna circle back around and it's all gonna make sense. So I took this um class last term in college. It was a sociology class and it was social inequality in American cinema. So we watched the movie Watermelon Man by Melvin Van Peebles and short synopsis on honestly just look up the synopsis of Watermelon Man. I'll just tell you, it's about this dude who's white and then he wakes up one day and he's black for the entire rest of the movie he's black. It shows you all the things that he has to change about his life when he goes from being white and having a lot of social capital to being black. And in the beginning of the movie he does this thing where he waits to leave his house so that he can chase the bus and like he has to create a problem for himself to like have a challenge in the morning. He's so used to everything being perfect for him and, and made for him that he has to create his own problems to like experience some kind of adrenaline. So he waits until the bus passes his house and he chases it every single day. But then when he turns into a black man, he like gets stopped by the police because they think he stole something. He can no longer do that anymore. He has actual problems and therefore the 
problem that he had to create for himself by chasing the bus is no longer necessary. And you're like, okay, what does that have to do with rich people wanting to do a bunch of crazy shit all the time? I genuinely think it's like the same kind of thing. When you have a certain amount of social capital through whatever medium that may be, and in this case, it is wealth, there's a lot of like, you, everything's fine for you. Like there's nothing that you ever have to really struggle with. And so they're bored. The world has been so tailor-made to accommodate to them that they had to go out and seek their own problems. It's like a Squid Game-esque kind of like scenario to me because they're so rich that they've never like imagined a scenario that money couldn't get them out of. And so like then I think it, it makes sense that they've gotten to the point that they're like, I'm literally invincible. Nothing can touch me because all these other things that other people are dealing with, they've never like the fuck are like what is that gonna do to them that's what i think the difference is i don't think it's that they're dumb but like poor people would be like girl i have to put fucking food on the table i don't have time to like what what do you mean go into a submarine to like why would i do that when i could look it up on the internet and they're like well the rich people are like well why would i do that i i can i don't have to everything else i can get like this and this is a horrendous situation to be in at every every single ounce of information that i learn about this makes it even more terrifying but i i don't think it's that these people are stupid i think it's like i think the fact that they're wealthy gives them this mindset people are inherently smarter than and i think the other point to this is that if we look at social media and attention and platforms and how basically privacy and the ability to capture people's people attention is currency social value economic value people that get a lot of attention or get a lot of wealth are automatically seen as more intelligent. It's why people that have huge platforms like Logan Paul or other people can pitch NFTs and weird websites and Ponzi schemes and all these things because having a platform, people in their audience think that they're intelligent and doesn't necessarily mean that. And I think the same thing can be said for wealthy people. I mean, so much of the world that we live in has been governed, created, structured, basically just like literally manifested by rich people and we assume that because they're rich and they've hoarded resources and i mean these are like slave masters slave owners people that exploit people at their workplaces people that hoard wealth we assume that because they're rich they're smart but it might mean that they're evil indictment against the idea that rich people are inherently smarter than poor this video is 100% true. There's also another creator, Dr. Nicole, that posted a video talking about how capitalism will have you believing that these folks, not only are they peak intelligence, but they're also peak innovation and creativity. Um, and I'll tag her video because I just thought it was so well said. Um, but it's so true that like, because these people have money, um, they're able to do these things that like, under the guise of like innovation and like doing something unique and different when really it's just dumb. Um, it also made me think of a video that I saw maybe like a week ago before this whole thing popped off. And I wish I could remember the creator who said it, but they were talking about how privilege and money make you feel invincible. And I think in this scenario, so many of us online are hearing about how this sub was designed and like what went into it. And we're just like, who would ever get on this death trap? Like, it's just not smart to get on it it's not well designed like it's just so many things right but because i think because they paid two hundred fifty thousand dollars, because it was this elusive luxury thing that n most people wouldn't have the privilege of doing that that adds that like level of like almost like disregard for how poorly designed it is and more just that emphasis on like how elusive and and different and cool it is interesting stuff um i hope they find them truly but um i think most of us could agree that like getting on that thing was <laughs> not smart it's piloted by a knockoff brand playstation controller nah not just any knockoff playstation controller the fucking controller was made by logitech fucking logitech the worst option out of any knockoff playstation controller i have found out that Fuck the fact that you had to pay over $250,000 to get on that fucking submarine. But just the fact that if I found out that controller that was controlling the submarine, it could be PlayStation, it could be Xbox, it could be Nintendo, Sega, whatever the fuck it is. If that bitch was controlled by anybody else but a first party, especially by Logitech, I'm running the opposite direction. You couldn't even pay me a quarter million dollars to get on that bitch. You couldn't even pay me a dollar to get on that shit if I found out that bitch was controlled by a Logitech controller. Y'all couldn't afford a first fucking party? Shit. Against the idea 
that rich people are inherently smarter than poor people. And that's exactly it, because rich people are not smarter than poor people. The, the reason that billionaires exist is because they've built their wealth on the backs of exploiting the working class. It's not, it, it, they didn't, they didn't figure out some code that we can't figure out. They didn't grind away. They didn't pull themselves up by the bootstraps. They, they don't have this work ethic that we peons can't even imagine. It's not that it's that they exploit people and they're shitty fucking people and they're okay. They're okay with exploiting people. Um, and they're stupid as fuck. Cause yeah, why are you paying $250,000, $250,000 dog to go in a fucking MacGyvered tuna can. And like she said, crisscross applesauce, honey, no, no, I, is it fucked up? I don't feel bad. I feel bad for their families. I feel bad for that kid. But like, yo, fuck around, find out. Direct indictment against the idea that rich people are inherently smarter than poor people. Not only are they not, they're not even trying to be. Because you don't have to be. You got all that money. You can now pay people to be smart for you. And you never have to challenge yourself. You never have to learn more than you learned the day that you collected all that cash. And it'll get your ass. Look, my granny used to say, a hard head makes a soft ass. And that's exactly where they're at right now. At the bottom of the sea. <laughs> Baby, I'm stuck on stupid. Don't let these people fool you. 99% of the time when you're looking at anybody with a whole bunch of money or a flashy attitude, they're taking advantage of a whole bunch of other folks to even get there. And in America, we really love to pump up that behavior as if it's something admirable instead of just deplorably dumb. But that's exactly what it is. Just stupid and deplorable. Now you're out here, you done wasted, what, a million dollars? Uh, we didn't even talk about what it costs for Buddy to put together that makeshift submarine. And you're stuck on stupid. They can't even get you out to bury you this is some bullshit but no money does not having a lot of money does not equate, equate to having high intelligence and it was one of my favorite parts about uh michelle obama's book of just saying get in the room and be at the table because when you get into these conference rooms with these high level executives or you get into these conference rooms with these high level politicians you will find most of them are functioning more right They've learned how to work a system, but they are not system thinkers. They're not system builders, and they show in the fuck are not dis system disruptors in any way outside of throwing their cash around and fucking up other people's shit. That's about it. So, no, we don't feel too sad. I feel bad for them because that's a horrible way to go. I feel bad for them because I hate to see any humans lose their lives. But also, there are hundreds of thousands of people that are riding across oceans right now on makeshift vessels just trying to find their way to a lifestyle that they can live that isn't punishing to them just because they're human and they're alive. So, you had 250k to blow on some bullshit and baby, you took a gamble and you lost. That's life. I'm sorry, but seeing all of these like jokes being made about these people in the submarine is sickening. I'm embarrassed that this is where humanity is right now on the internet. There is a 19 year old boy just graduated high school on that submarine lost in the depths of the sea with his father. They are terrified. They are accepting their own deaths if they don't get found by eight in the morning. How are you making this a joke? Their friends and their family are terrified that they are losing their loved ones. And y'all are just out here laughing because they paid money to do it. It's sick. It's literally sick. You should be ashamed of yourself. It's not funny. How do you not care about these people's lives? And how are you making fun of such a tragic story they're there right now they're there right now they are there right now you should be fucking praying how do you not care about these people's lives and how are you making fun of people don't care because they don't care about us you're asking the masses why they do not care about the five million and billionaires that decided 
to spend 250 grand each to go 12,000 feet below sea level in a bulletproof water balloon controlled by a refurbished Atari joystick. They volunteered to do it even though they had experts and professionals saying it's a bad, stupid idea, don't do it. They did it anyway because they're that rich and that bored. Same billionaires and like-minded billionaires that laughed at us common folks pain and suffering when they made an egregious profit due to price gouging and inflation during a pandemic. And it's still going on today. Do you think they cared when people were becoming homeless and people couldn't feed their kids and their families and getting laid off because they didn't want to pay their workers what they deserved? The same workers that put in that manual labor so they can be billionaires, so they can build their empires. You're asking the masses to care about people that do not care about them. It's hilarious. And just ask yourself this because you want to throw in the whole, there's a 19 year old boy on board, <laughs> like that's gonna pull heartstrings. Have you seen this government pull that many resources to find missing women and children, missing indigenous women and children, or children that are sold into the, uh, the human trafficking trade? Have you seen them pull this amount of resources ever to find them? No, I didn't think so. That's why people don't care, and that's why it's fucking hilarious. It's like they had enough common sense to build fucking billion dollar empires but did not have enough common sense to see a sega genesis remote being pulled out like yeah we gonna control you with this and say nah bitch i'm cool that's why people don't care and that's why they laughing you can't care about people that don't care about you i hope that helps the fuck so this whole thing of the submarine trying to see the titanic was a whole laughing stock down my timeline and of course yours and the reason why is because it was a suicide mission and two, why would five grown ass men go down there in that teeny ass tube pill or summary, however you want to look at it, to see something that you'd already seen a million times over on movies, documentaries, and other people going down there as well? How were you going to, what, what you thought you was going to do, just go in there with that big ass tube and them little ass hallways? It's, all that shit is covered up with algae and all you probably see creatures down there that you wouldn't see on a daily basis going you know in the water right but from my understanding and they just speculating they didn't even get halfway down there and lost communication which is also crazy and for you to hear a knock and still wasn't able to find them uh, somebody lying another thing i noticed we get crucified for spending our money on you know bullshit that or what people consider bullshit but it's okay and we're supposed to be feeling sorry for some idiots no not trying to be funny but that was a dumbass move to go down there and spend all your money just to pretty much get imploded or however you say it crushed do you know the crazy thing about this is that 15 or 20 years from now that's what i'm putting it people will pay two if not three times the amount of money to go thirteen thousand feet deep to see the submersible that went to see titanic me not ask you no me say me not ask you no the same thing will happen like, me not get it but like i hope they find them like my heart goes out to the families. As a black person, do you know what truly upsets me? Do you know how much rice? Do you know how many fried chicken? Do you know how many plantains? Do you know how many bottles of squash drinks? Do you know how much fufu I could have bought with $250,000, a quarter of a million pounds? I mean dollars. That is truly heartbreaking. Do you know how much food I could have bought with that money? But five people decided to use that money to go to 12 feet underwater. They had no business doing that. But they went 12 feet underwater, 12,000 feet underwater to see the wreckage of the Titanic. And I just, me, I just want some fufu. I just want some fried chicken. And that makes me happy. All right, let's talk about this submarine shit, bro. So it is absolutely baffling how easily it is to just completely take the world's attention.
This is all they were showing on CNN this week. This I'm walking through the mall. Everybody is looking at their phone, playing a video about this shit. So you got a question. If they want everybody looking here, then what's going on over here? They want everybody looking at the water. What's going on on the land? And just in case this video gets in the algorithm, I got to make my point as logically bulletproof as possible. So we know that plants are alive, trees, plants, etc., etc. We know that they are living things. So if they are rooted in the ground and they are alive, that means the earth has to be alive as well. Things that are alive release a pulse. So that pulse is called the Schumann resonance. And this is basically the heartbeat of the earth. So you got to understand if the earth has a pulse and we are living beings of the earth, then that means the earth, the pulse of the earth affects us as well. This is electromagnetism and our pulse, the energy we produce affects the pulse of the earth as within, so without. This is the dynamic between micro beings and macro beings. So basically on Sunday, the day before all this submarine shit, there was an anomaly in the Schumann resonance. I know y'all might not understand what you're looking at. But this is how it normally looks, this is how it normally looks, and this is the anomaly. So you got to ask yourself, if this is the pulse of the earth and there was just an anomaly in the pulse of the earth, and this is electromagnetism and we are electromagnetic beings, then how does this affect us or did we cause this? And if you watch this movie, yo, y'all have to watch the movies. If you watch this movie, you know that planet Tiamat will wake up when the beings on Earth have given the planet a certain amount of energy. Energy. Frequency. What is the Schumann resonance? Frequency. The planet is waking up because we are waking up. They are literally losing their grip and they're doing anything possible to distract us at this point. Think about everything that's gone on this month. You don't know what's a distraction and what to take serious. There's thousands of fish washing up on shore. They pollute in the air. There's crickets, millions of crickets in Nevada right now. Rivers are drying up. America is literally on fire. Orange skies in New York, aliens landing in Vegas. There's so much shit going on and you don't know what to give your attention to. Give your attention and energy to self. All they trying to do is dim your light and the light of the planet literally. This is a sign that the energy is changing. Y'all need to be grounding your feet, connecting with the earth, getting some of this energy and electricity. And all of this is just to distract your energy. Whether or not there's actually an agenda behind it, they're pushing it so much to distract you. Okay, guys, so those are the stitches, guys. Please let me know. Leave your own thoughts concerning this, um, you know, paying 250k to go and see... Anyway, guys, please let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. And now let's watch the tour of this um, Titanic. Titan. It's a Titan submarine before the whole incident happened. Yeah, so let's get into the video. Music, and uh, it's uh, very popular. We have our uh, control screen here, our sonar screen here, and we can put any image we want in the back. We've taken a completely new approach to the sub design and it's all run with this game controller and these touch screens. So if you want to go forward, you press forward. If you want to go back, you go back, turn left, turn right, go down, go up. And it's Bluetooth, so I can hand it to anybody. And it's meant for a 16 year old to throw it around and super durable. We keep a couple of spares on board just in case. This is the second year we've been out to the Titanic. Uh, we went out in uh, five uh, eight day missions. We did uh, about 10 dives to the wreck site of the Titanic, and we did an extra dive on an undiscovered reef that we found. It's a completely privately funded um, operation, and we're funded by what we call mission specialists who help support the mission. So they take quite a bit of money to come and join us. Years ago, they t the uh, Russians took tourists out to the, uh, to the Titanic, uh, and it was just sort of a look and see thing. We really are focusing on the science around it. We want to document what the wreck is like now, and also try to predict what it'll be like in the future. It's continuing to decay and it seems to be accelerating. It's being eaten by a bacteria, so it's literally being eaten by the ocean. It's not rusting away. So these things that, that are called rusticles are actually the, the byproduct of a bacteria that eats the iron. And as it does that, these, these uh, decks are collapsing. The promenade deck continues to collapse forward. Uh, we saw some of the railing is starting to, to, to lose its structural strength, which is really a sad thing. That's when it's gonna stop looking like the Titanic. 
the interest in the Titanic is the reason we go there. Because people are willing to fund this kind of exploration and science, and that gives a completely different research component that almost nowhere else in the deep ocean can, can you get funding to go back every year for decades and see how coral reefs develop and see how, uh, how metals decay and see how currents change. I mean, that just, you, you can't justify that. No government will pay for that. Nobody wants to go back to just some old reef, but people do want to go back to the Titanic. And that's why we go is because people want it. Yes, guys, so we've come to the end of the videos, guys. So please let me know what you think. I'm insisting, guys. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments section below. And please give me this time to say thank you, guys, for watching my videos, for subscribing to my channel. Please don't make it your last time to come and watch my videos. Yeah, please, guys. And yeah, I'll definitely see you in my next video. Bye.